Hey Water Signs, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, thank you for tuning in. I really do appreciate you being here on my channel. Uh, this is for all Water Signs watching or to the cross watchers who are dealing with the Water Sign romantically. Uh, we're going to be looking at you versus them, so sort of what's going on between you and your person, um, the advice that you currently need in your situation, and what's keeping you and your person apart right now. So before I begin, uh, if you enjoy this content, please feel free to leave a like, feel free to subscribe to the channel uh, and hit the bell notification. If you'd like to join membership for the channel, you will get exclusive access to extended readings and bonus readings available to members only. So you can do that joining the um, channel via the join button on the homepage of my channel. So. Oh, and also if you are after a private reading, please feel free to email me. I am currently accepting those as well. Okay, so that was a mouthful. So uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, overall energy for you, well, for your side, um, is the Justice, the High Priestess, and the Nine of Cups. And for their side, it's the Nine of Wands, Four of Swords, and King of Pentacles. So looking at your side of things and your current energy, you do have a strong Libra in energy. So right now you're wanting a, a very, there's a very strong desire for balance, um, understanding and mutual agreement. So mutual respect, having, having that level playing field is super important to you. And that's what you're wanting um, with your kind of energy right now. The justice card, you're really sort of, um, you're in this energy where you're cutting ties with things that don't work, um, like people, relationships, events. Anything that's not sitting well with you, you're you're quick to leave it because you're in a you're in a point in your life where you're like you're cutting out the bad stuff, and this is good. Um, I feel like you're in an energy of growth, um, and I also feel like with the high priestess, you're working towards something that you feel is destined for you. So, um, hear me out here. You've got something going on. There's some sort of thought or ambition or fantasy. There's something that you want it's almost like a wish that you want to come true, right? You've got the nine of cups. So there's a, there's something you've been wanting in your life. Um, it may be a person, a particular relationship, a particular event. There's something that you've been wishing for and it crosses your mind, you know, maybe before you go to bed or the first thing in the morning or throughout the day. Uh, and it's almost like you are secretly working towards that. It's almost like your subconscious is pushing you to do that action that's taking you closer to the wish. But it's kind of like a tennis match because on one side you're like, oh no, it's not going to come true. It's too late. It can't happen. Um, it, you know, so many things need to happen for that to fall into place. But then on one side it's like, well, yes, it can happen. It will happen. And you feel like super positive, uh, positive about it, right? So what you have here is this sort of tennis match that's going on. And on a very subconscious level, it's almost like spirit or God or your higher self, you know, call it what you will. It's almost like this higher power is telling you that this can, this can be yours and your secret, well, not secretly because you are doing the steps, but it's almost like you're subconsciously, I should say, you're subconsciously taking the steps to get yourself closer to that wish. And in that process, you're doing the justice card. Now, a lot of you are wanting someone special in your life. A lot of you may have someone special in your life. And I feel like the justice card is telling me you want to legalize that. Okay, some of you, you want to put a ring on it. Others, you want to sign some documents. You know, you want to move in together. You can't wait to start a life with someone here. And this is, you, you want to make it legal. You want to make it official. It's very likely that that could happen in the cards. For some of you, the justice card, that cutting ties, it's separation, it's divorce. It's moving away from a situation here because you think, you can either be with someone different, be with someone better, have a better life, set up a better life, whatever it is that you feel is made for you. And you're going to follow that because that nine of cups. And that's why I feel like it may be an ending for some of you. And you're going to be doing that walking away here. Your person is a little bit different. Okay, they're coming up king of pentacles, knight of wands, four of swords. I feel like this person's very up and down. So Knight of Wands, sometimes they're very, very interested in you and they're giving you a lot of these green lights and, you know, they're making things happen and they're blowing up your phone. Next minute, Four of Swords, they ghost you. They disappear. Like, where are they? What are they doing? They're, they're, they're you know, off with someone new. Maybe like when they sort of calm down away from you, they're connecting with someone else. They're hooking up with another person. They're in a love kind of energy with the King of Pentacles. So right now they, they are searching for that commitment and they are searching for that love. They just don't know how to do it. And their actions are a little bit all over the place. So I feel like this person, I feel like what's keeping you apart, Nine of Cups, you have this wish. 
but it's almost like that wish is maybe not necessarily this person, maybe not right now. On the flip side, they have the King of Pentacles, so they're not putting up with anything sort of... I feel like they're, they are interested in you, but as soon as they see something that puts them off, like they get non-interested or they're like, okay, what else can I get? Can I get better? Can I find someone else who likes what I like, who does what I like, who does X, Y, and Z? So they could be picky. Um, picky because they're in a love energy. They've got love around them. So I get that they have a lot of admirers. They're interested in you though, but they can't figure you out. They're having a hard time because it's like, you, you're coming up as that high priestess, right? So you're coming up as a bit of a mystery. They're trying to figure you out. Could be a fairly new connection. Maybe that's why they're sort of unsure. You know, they're meditating about you, Four of Swords. They're thinking about you. Um, King of Pentacles, they might have not met anyone like you before. And they could see themselves with you. But... They're still like assessing you type thing or judging how you'd be as a partner. And the more mysterious you are, water signs, the more you're not giving away, the more it's making this person like go crazy. Like they're like, they're mysterious. You know, they haven't told me they loved me yet or they never take me to this place or they never really talk about that ex-partner. Like there's something that you're holding back here and this person can sense it. And when you do that, that's when they retreat, I think, to the Four of Swords. Um... But you're both you're both looking into each other, so you obviously both want each other. Look at the body language, like of them looking these these what's keeping you apart is like you're both looking towards each other. Um, but you're not looking straight on, so you're obviously looking away. So I'm getting that some of you are turning a blind eye to each other's red flags, maybe. Could be the case. The advice for you is what is done in love is well done. So if you're gonna do something, you gotta do it all the way. There's no like half-assing it. <laughs> so you have to do it. Like if you're going to commit to someone and you're going to tell them, um, you, okay, I promised you things. I promised you critical things. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be X, Y, and Z. And then you not do it. It makes them turn away and vice versa. Like if they're going to do that and be like, oh, I'll promise I'll be better. I won't be as, you know, as avoidant. I won't be as like ghosty, whatever. And then they go and do it. It's not a well done process and it's not conducive to the relationship. So if it's done in the name of love, it has to be done all the way. There's like no easy exits. If you're going to commit to this person, you have to do it all the way and vice versa for them. If they're going to commit to you, they need to show you that love entirely. Because if it's just showing you love one week but not the next week, overall, it's like taking one step forward, two steps back. It's not going to bring you closer or it's going to take a very long, long time. Now, again, that advice is for the both of you in this relationship. So maybe if you'll do some of this, you might see this person step up or the times that they step up and you show that appreciation and you mirror it back to them here, water signs, you might see a lot more of uh, where that's coming from here as well. So I will leave it there. Thank you again, everyone, for tuning in. It does all mean a lot to me. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe and sign up for membership. Otherwise, I'll catch you soon. Much love and bye for now.